Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anna. I'm a little bit spooky and today we're playing with the Retro Palette from Natasha Denona and creating a kind of almost a little like soft goth Valentine's Day look. Like it, there's something about this that says just that soft goth romance, gothic romance kind of vibe to it. And yeah, it's simple. There's no eyeliner. It's just a s impactful yet soft look. And and I wanted to use this palette for Valentine's Day because it's like the perfect Valentine's Day palette. And yeah, that's what we did today. We created this is really pretty kind of halo eye situation. Paired it with a tonal lip and blush and red nails. So, so yeah, if that interests you, just go ahead and keep on watching. Before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know down below um, if you have the retro palette, if you want to see some more looks with it because I'm... I'm thoroughly enjoying it. There's definitely a couple more looks I want to create with this palette. So it's not a super chatty video. We're just going to be talking about the makeup and doing the look. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, good morning. Hello. I'm a little low energy today. I don't feel 100%. Ugh. So there's that. So it might be a little we're all just quiet today while we do this makeup look, but I want to do the makeup look. I want to play makeup today. So <laughs> here we are. Normally on days when I feel kind of meh, but I still want to do like play and makeup or whatever and create content and just do reels, but here we are. I'm going to play with the Natasha Denona retro palette today and want to do something for Valentine's Day. So yeah, this is just a gorgeous palette full of the perfect colors for Valentine's Day, and I do believe this palette's been on sale recently as well, so yeah, I think she did like a Valentine's Day sale or something around it. We're just going to create a pretty look because that's what I feel like doing. Let's dive in. I'm going to start with a fluffy brush, and I think we're going to start with the shade called Nude Mauve right here, and just see what it does. I've already primed my eyes and got brows on, got some lip liner, lip balm on. This is a powder and I'm going to start that through the socket. Yeah, Nude Moth, that's what this color is. A little bit warmer than your typical mauve, but very nice. Really nice kind of, just a contour-y kind of, contour-like kind of color. I like that color. That is pretty. And just apply it kind of lightly up towards the brow, but not all the way. Just that transition area. Um, now let's go into the shade called a Go Go, which I believe is a cream to powder formula. This one right here on this brush. And I'm going to just tuck that in a little bit further. Very nice. Brings a little bit of a warm pink in. It's my second time playing with this palette. So I borrowed it from a friend and just wanted to dig in and see what we could create. Pumpkin, can you can you stop licking over there? She's over there just licking her little feet, making all kind of noise. You know how dogs do that when they're like sleepy, they just like lick. It's like a comfort thing. She always does that when she's like snugged up and she's in her little bed over there. All right, just gonna like build in a little more. There we go. Let's try a little bit of the shade called Amara. Just this one down here in the corner. And I think I'm gonna swap over to a diffused, or a E25 from Sigma. Let's see, this is a powder. Pretty. That one actually has a little more purple to it than what it looks like in the pan. In the pan, it looks like it's gonna be warmer. Interesting. It has a bit more of a coolness in there. Focusing that on the outer corner. I'll bring it a little bit into the socket. I'll let that blend into the other shades. Let's do a little bit of Rebellion 
I think I'm gonna grab a precision firm blender for this. And this is a cream to powder. And that one I expect to be more purpley. It's more reddish. looks nice. It gives a nice bit of depth. Right. I'm just going to let that blend a little bit over. And take a little bit more of a go-go. And I'm going to focus it into the socket here. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade called Apart, which is this kind of really cool like taupey, dark taupe brown. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the outer corner and I'm gonna do that with a little angled brush, angled liner brush. This is a cream, cream to powder it looks like. And I'm gonna start that at the lash line. I'm just gonna angle that up a little bit. And really use it to deepen up. And we can layer a little bit of rebellion with the same brush in there. E25. Uh, blend everything out a little bit here. Looks like a little bit more of a go-go. Let's build that up right out here. And I'm going to take some of the shade called Patty. Yeah, we'll take some of the Patty right here. And I'm going to start to bring that onto the lid a little bit. Or a little bit. I am going to bring this onto the lid. And this is a metallic, I believe. It's like a soft metallic. Almost like a satin. It's pretty. I like that color. I like the, it's a very rosy, warm tone. And I'm focusing it more on the inner corner. I'm going to take the E25, soften edges. And then on the center of the lid, I'm going to take some of the shade called Glitz, which is this one in the upper corner. It's a pink with like a golden shift. It's a bit more of a sparkly type of shade. A bit more of that like kind of topper feel. It's a bit of a dual chrome. Oh, yeah, fingers where it's at with this one. Pretty. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna grab just a bit more of Patty. So blend that right here. Show this. The shades are flowing together nicely. Right, I'm going to jump back to the outer corner and I'm going to grab a little more Rebellion. Let's intensify that a little bit and a bit more of a part. Alright, just intensifying glitz. more. Pretty. I like that color. I like glitz. That's a nice little shade. All right, I'm going to take some of the shade called Vivian. Vivian right here. And just bring that around the outer edges. Just to soften things up. Right around here. I think we're going to go soft today. Soft and pretty with this look. I'm going to take just a little bit of Patty. Run a bit of that right there through the transition. Because it's so like softly, like more of a satin, it works really well in the crease. All right. Now on your corner, take a little bit more glitz. Just right here. The inner part. And we go right under the brow bone with a tiny bit of mod. Which is the 
near white shade in here. It's like a white with a just barely pink in it. Okay, I'm going to tidy up the shape just a little bit on the outer corners. A little bit of face cream. Just make sure we don't have any fallout either. A little bit. A little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. I really wouldn't tap it off my brush though. And trying to be particularly careful because I was doing eyes first, so I wasn't that worried about it. Took a little bit of brown eyeliner and get in the tight line. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup, and we'll be back for some finishing touches and the final look. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we are back. I just did foundation, concealer, and a bit of bronzer. Touch up the brows. So let's go ahead and finish up this lower lash line really quickly. I think this eyeshadow really did come out pretty. I like it. There's a soft sweetness to it. It's not like crazy glittery or anything. It's just, it's just pretty. And there's impact there. Like there's something there to it, but it's not over the top like the look we did the other day for Valentine's Day. So let me do something a little bit softer and sweeter. And I do want to do something even like softer with this palette because I think there's really could really a lot of potential and versatility within here and that looks pretty same same just glancing at it i see a couple of looks in here that could have some variation in there so i do want to dive into that a little bit okay lower lash line i'm gonna take um i think i'm gonna start with some of the shade called apart which is the taupe color right here mm -hmm. this taupey color right here or dark brown it's like a really dark, cool, cool tone taupe, but just super dark. I'm gonna take some of that on a little detail brush and run that along the lower lash line. Pretty tight in there. All right, and then I'm gonna take this, this um, Firm Blender, Precision Firm Blender, with no product on, and I'm just gonna soften that up at those edges. All right, and we'll do a bit of Amara, which is this one right here. Same brush, just gonna layering that over. And we'll take some of Nude Mauve underneath, just below all that to blend it all out. Let's take a bit of Vivienne right here. And I want to put that around a little bit more on the inner part. Just keep that kind of bright looking. And I can throw a little bit of the shade called Mod, which is the almost white on the inner part. Take some of the Patty. This one here that we used on the lid. Blend a bit of that in there. Okay, and let's take a little bit of glitz. Okay, a little touch on the inner corner. That's all I'm gonna do on the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna keep it kind of soft. Soft but a little like smoky. Softly smoky. Smoky eye doesn't mean it has to be dark. It can be just hazy. Like, I like that. Gives the lashes a little curl. A little bit of Benefit Fan Fest mascara. What are you signing for over there? This mascara done. Let's do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna grab Tahini from e.l.f. I believe. Yeah. Tahini from e.l.f. It's a nice warm pink shade. And for just a touch of highlighter, I'm going to take one that I haven't reached for in forever, and that is Blossom Glow from Wet n Wild. 
This is such a pretty little pinky highlight. It's really nice. I just haven't <laughs> I forgot it existed. Stick a little bit of that on the high points. Just a very small amount because this one can be kind of intense. I mean, just below the arch. I mean, just the tiniest amount there. I always like to take my blush brush and just kind of tap over where I applied that. And I'm taking just a little bit more of that deepest cool brown. Just right here. Now for lips, I'm going to line my lips with Walk of No Shame from Charlotte Silbury. Right. I think a nice kind of reddish berry suits this look. And I I still think this is one of the most wearable yet kind of statement lipsticks. It's just not too much of a statement lip. Like, yeah, it's it's perfect. And this is our look complete with the Natasha Denona Retro palette. I think it came out really pretty. It's an easy palette to work with. Even with those boldish kind of like burgundy red shades, they're actually surprisingly easy to apply and work with within this palette because the formula is very graceful. If you're looking for a palette with these kind of tones in it, uh, Retro would be a good one because it is a little bit easier to work with. Whereas like maybe like the Huda Naughty Nude palette can be a little messy at times. Also, like the Retro palette is like in a really nice expanded version of the Walk of No Shame quad from Charlotte Tilbury. That's what made me think to pair the lip with it. So yeah, I think this look came out really nice. And you can get a little versatility from this palette, which I do want to do a couple more looks this week to kind of show you just a little bit of variety within the palette. Um, I definitely want to do a really pretty cool tone look because there's some gorgeous gorgeous cool tone with like a hint of lilac in them or something like a shade jude up here i really want to do something with jude with that dark brown and a bit of maybe this center shade and maybe helio i think something pretty could happen there and there's this gorgeous purple over here that i also kind of want to do something with maybe i'll pair that together so yeah i think that is all for today thank you for hanging out with me and oh just a very chill quiet <laughs> kind of video but here we are and yeah thanks for hanging out i will see you guys in the next one stay safe and stay spooky bye now